Hey guys, it's Brandon. I'm going to be playing a uh, dual commentary game with uh, my good friend Chess Explained. Um, his name, of course, International Master Christoph Siliecki. You guys probably know him very well. And uh, we're going to do a, um, a 10 plus 10 game here. And uh, <laughs> my rating on ICC in this particular uh, standard pool here is uh, <laughs> six points higher than his, but that's because he's never played on this. Uh, he's never played a rated game on this type of uh, challenge system. And uh, I've, oh, he's giving a Queen's Indian. Oops. Um, maybe I try the Petrosian system. So my options here are G3. That's a little bit. Um, Josh, maybe. Uh, G3, I could play A3 here, like the international master did against me yesterday. I think I'll do that. The idea of this A3 move is um, to prevent bishop B4 so I can get my knight into C3. <clears throat> oh, he's going for some kind of, <clears throat> excuse me, dual fiend keto setup here. Um, Don't really under, don't really know about this, so I guess we're sort of out of theory here. But I'll just develop logically and try to play for e4, and then d5. So yeah, some of you may have seen yesterday that I got a, a draw with an international master in a simul. This is obviously not a simul, but he played this with against me with white, and. Um, <clears throat> Maybe I shouldn't have castled there. Maybe I should have gone with e4 right away. Because he might be able to play... He might be able to play c5 now. And then... Maybe set up a Meroxy bind type position. Oh, okay. So he wants to, he wants to try to uh, play e5 as his break in the center. So if I respond to e5... I think I might respond to e5 with the d5 push, just getting some space. And, uh, okay, he's giving me the chance to play d5 now. Hmm. Yeah, alright, I'll play d5. It shuts out this bishop. On, uh, and it gains some space, but um, it does open up his dark square bishop. So maybe I could I could try to exchange the dark square bishop. Well, that is my good bishop also, so I'm not really sure. So okay, we're playing a, a game here that's uh, 10 seconds plus 10 seconds uh, increment, and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens here. So he's just keeping the tension here in the center um, and developing. Is there a threat associated with this move? I don't think so. Uh, I'd like to play bishop e3 or maybe rook e1, just putting my rook opposite the queen. Not 100% sure. Taking on, on e6 is out. Um, maybe I could play bishop g5. If I play bishop g5 and he plays h6, then I may have to come back to d2. e3 is really the square that the bishop probably should go to, but he has knight g4 if I play it immediately. I'll just make a development move and put my rook opposite his queen. It's usually not a bad move to place your rooks on files opposite your opponent's queen. And there's not a whole lot of stuff in the way. For example, if he takes on c5, I could even retake and be immediately attacking his queen with the tempo. So I'm not sure if it's positionally best to take with the e-pawn, but... I 
I could I could try to maybe uh, play b4 and bishop b2. That actually probably runs into tactics. I can't really play b4. Okay, so he's really setting up a, a sort of a... Not quite a hippopotamus. Well, a little bit like a hippopotamus setup with these pawns all on the third rank. Um, I'm not sure if in the hippopotamus... Usually both the knight the knights on on c7 and e7, and black just kind of waits around. Um, okay, maybe bishop f4 here. That would give him a tempo for um, e5, which he may do. Uh, I can I think I spend a move wait and wait here and play bishop to e3. The idea of h3 is, okay, of course, to give my king an escape square and also stop at knight g4 so I can play bishop to e3 without knight g4 just coming in and harassing the dark square bishop. So, situate, he's decided, I think I can get away with a move like this because he's setting up this uh, hippopotamus type of pawn structure and... Um, And uh, it's 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 not bad, but it's slow. Black's the, the idea of black is to just sort of set up a super solid position and make white um, overextend himself. So and hope to get counterplay if white ever overextends himself. Hmm. Knight h4. So this move opens the bishop, may intend to play f5. Or he may be intending e5 and knight f4. If he plays e5, maybe I can play G, uh, G, G3, just to take away the F4 square. If he plays F5, I'm not sure if I have to take it. F5 takes, he has to retake with the G pawn. Hmm. Well, let's, let's see what happens. So I got my bishop out closer to being fully developed, and, uh, oh, this move surprises me. Uh, I'm not sure why he's given up his dark square bishop. Did I miss a, a tactic here? Huh. No, I guess I didn't miss a tactic, he's just trying to block the position up and um, argue that his two knights will be better than my two bishops. Um, okay, so he clearly wants to stick the knight in on f4. And maybe even play for f5 here. Yeah, I guess his idea is to play for f5. I can throw in bishop h6 with a tempo to get the bishop out. Um... Maybe I'll just cut the knight out from getting into f4. How's my time here? Time is okay. Yeah, now he's rerouting his bishop, understandably. I'm going to put my king here just to watch out for the uh, the g3 pawn, the, bishop, the h3 pawn. The bishop is eyeing this unprotected h3 pawn, and I can always put my bishop back on f1, uh, which may be a good idea just to do in general. Uh, for safety's sake. Also, possibilities of knight to... Okay, so he wants to play f5. I don't know if there's really anything I can do about it. I don't think g4 is optimal. Okay, so f5, if I take, he plays... Um... Will he play g takes? I don't know. Knight takes? Hmm. Got to figure out, all right, let me think a little bit here about some way to get some counterplay. 
obviously the kind of play I'm going to have is going to be coming. I guess i got to push the A-pawn up the board as far as I can get it. Actually, I, that probably won't help me because as soon as I play A4, he'll play A5, just cutting out any counterplay I have. <sighs> because of the, the broken pawn structure here, I won't have any pawn breaks on the queen side. So he'll have all the play here on the king side. Unless I sacrifice a pawn or something. Hmm. Well, in any case, he plans to play f5 here, and I'm not sure if g4 is worth it for me. g4, f5, takes, 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 knight takes. I don't know, it's not really worth it. I may consider even giving up whatever piece he, he sticks on f5 just to, uh, just to get rid of this light square bishop, which is really doing nothing. But actually, on the other hand, I, I do kind of need it, yeah. So he's really cutting out any counterplay that I have here. Um, maybe I could think about a pawn sack. On c5. No, he just plays knight takes. Doesn't really do anything. So, okay, he's given up his dark square bishop, but. And he's going to open the f file, but my, my dark square bishop is a nice defender on the f file. So let's just get the queen out. Let's develop the queen. And, um, well, let's see what he, let's see what happens after he plays f5. He's got the two bishops. And uh, I guess he's going to try to play on the king side. But let's just see. Let's just see if what develops in, in those terms. Again, the problem is that I don't really have any, any counterplay on the queen side because of this broken pawn structure. If he plays f5, okay. So he's attacking the bishop, and knight b3 is a threat. Also, the knight is hanging on, is attacking the e-pawn. And if I move the light square bishop back to keep defense of the e-pawn and... Uh, and protect the b3 square. Uh, excuse me. And protect the b3 square. Then I won't have the option to bring this bishop back to f1. So I could take the pawn. I could take it. Play bishop f1 and try to get some play with. Uh, d6 or on the b file. All right. This seems like my only option for some kind of play. Dep okay, let's see what he does with which pawn he takes with. It's not nice for me to give up this good bishop, but that knight is very strong on uh, on a5 on c5. It can't ever be chased away from that square. It's putting pressure on a lot of pieces in my position. Um, okay, he did. He did uh, take with the uh, the d-pawn. So now I'm going to try to get some play with the move d6, which he is now quickly coming to blockade. Yep. Okay. Um, yeah, that's, a, that's just a really great square for the knight on d6. So maybe I could play... I could play something like queen to here, queen g5, attacking the pawn and the queen. He could play f6, or if he or he could trade queens. Hmm. I could try to play for f4, maybe. I'm not sure opening up the position is so good for me in this particular case, but. That knight is annoying. It's putting pressure on some pieces. I don't. I don't know what my knight is doing on g5. If I play queen here, I don't know what my knight is doing on g5. 
Well, I've got to try to get some play going here. So maybe f4 is the only only chance I have in this position to try to get something going. Oh, great. Now he's continuing to attack my weak pawns that I wasn't even thinking about. Uh, I guess I have to defend it. Queen here with the rook. Should I just let the pawn go? That's probably no good. If I move the queen, then I won't be able to play f4. Not that f4 is so great. Okay, so what's going on here? F5? Oh, he wants to, he's trying to dis discourage me from playing F, uh, F4 by putting a ton of indirect pressure on the E4 point. So if I play F4, he takes, and then the E4 point is falling. But maybe I can do this, because his queen is leading the, uh, his queen is leading the, oh, that, that actually just hung C4. So that was not a good move. That was a terrible move. I don't know why I did that. Oh, because I wasn't thinking. Yeah. Alright. So maybe I can play f4 anyway. What good is that pawn really doing me now? Let's see. Takes. No. No, none of this is any good. Well, okay, I've got to try something. I'm getting low on time here. I've hung a pawn. I'm not sure this was the most important pawn. Oh, I probably should have played c4, actually, just to stop him from playing c4. Alright. So here comes... Here comes the play. If I take, he plays bishop takes. So maybe I just play... f5? Hmm... Really, really am not. I'm really struggling for any play here at all. Position is just, just not good. So I'm down a pawn, and I gotta try to, I gotta try to hang on here somehow. F4. He, he takes, bishop takes, knight takes, queen takes, takes. Knight takes. Rook takes rook, rook takes rook, rook takes pawn. Bishop takes pawn. I don't think I can play it. Let's see. I'm worried about the variation. F4 takes, takes, knight takes, queen takes. Well, takes on F4. If I play F4, takes, knight takes. I don't know. Too hard to calculate, but I've got to do something here. This is probably not going to be good, and by probably not going to be good, I mean almost definitely not going to be good. My hanging pieces here? Did I miscalculate? This is not looking good. I think I miscalculated. I forgot he doesn't have to take right away. Now this bishop is hanging. I have to move it. And then he can grab two rooks for the queen if I have to retake with the knight. This was terrible. Well. Wow. This king is a little open. So my only only hope would be some kind of and I could play bishop f five even. Yeah, I mean he really just 
absolutely eliminated any counterplay on my on my part here with this knight on d6. Really unfortunate that I'm getting crushed here, but okay. What do you expect? It's uh, it's Kristoff. What can you do? So, can you play f3 here? No, we can't play f3. What? I didn't think this was possible. Takes? Rook takes? Queen takes? What's going on here? If I take? I don't know. I don't really have time to calculate anything. Oh, he's going to play bishop, yeah, or even just bishop f5 would have been okay too. So I'm just, yeah, didn't think about that. Just losing a piece here. Uh, yeah, this was just not a good game by me. Oof. Ugly game. Ugly, ugly game. Well, anyway, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.